Now, putting words into action, President Biden has already signed several immigration executive orders during his first few hours as president. His plan for immigration reform culminates in a bill headed to Congress, which includes a path to citizenship for 11 million undocumented immigrants and provides aid to Central America. But as News Channel 5's Olivia Michael reports, it could also have economic re repercussions right here in Nashville. Nearly 100,000 people make up Nashville's Latino population. Now, as President Joe Biden takes office, local leaders are hopeful that his immigration plan will bring a brighter future to Nashville's immigrant population. It's an, imper it's an economic imperative, but also it's a moral imperative to do something about immigration. Biden's plan would undo much of President Trump's immigration policies while paving an eight-year path to citizenship and expanding DACA. I think that our community is not really um, a community that uh, is taken into account much. Yuri Kunza with the Nashville Area Hispanic Chamber of Commerce believes if passed, the plan could lift some of the stigma immigrants in Nashville face. They are also human beings like any, anybody else. And then we have dreams and we have aspirations and we want prosperity for our families, for our children, for our, for our spouse, for our parents. I'm, I'm really optimistic. Immigration lawyer Mario Ramos says the last four years have been the most difficult for him. In order to grow the city, you need more workers and the more workers come from outside. He's optimistic the plan will pass, something he says will benefit Nashville's economy in the long run. Trump had a plan, but it was kind of the opposite plan. But in terms of recent, say, the last six presidents, this is the only way I can remember it had a very a plan for the beginning. Above all, Kunza says it's a symbol of hope. We hope to, to be of help, to be, uh, to be instruments of change in a way. And well, we'll look for a better day. In Nashville, Olivia Michael, News Channel 5.